Hey, good morning, y'all. Dog on Hunt coming to you. It is uh, April 9th, 2018, Monday morning. Been to the uh, yoga studio this morning. Did two hours of yoga yesterday uh, in a recovery yoga class. And then also they had a, what they call a karma class, which is a donation-based class that uh, all the proceeds went to uh, benefit the Kentucky AIDS Alliance. But... You know, content's coming slow. I don't know. Uh, I got woodworking stuff going on a little bit, and uh, obviously participating in my recovery from chemical uh, dependency every day. Uh, continuing my recovery every day from uh, that hopeless mind, uh, hopeless state of seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. Uh, recovering my true spirit daily. Thought focus on something today, though, man, and I'll go back to this. Uh, you know, October, I decided uh, once and for all, and I didn't even know it. Sort of went over my my alcohol sobriety date was never a planned event. It happened on uh, January 1, 2015. Uh, it's a New Year's Day thing. It was not a New Year's Day resolution. Uh, it was an accident, if you believe in accidents. Uh, same thing with my nicotine. You know, I was getting to be. I was swirling to drink because ever since I was a little kid, you know, 14 years old or so, I had picked up that uh, mammoth cave twist from my grandpa, cut a piece off of it with a pocket knife just like he did, stuck that awful stuff in my mouth, uh, thought I was going to puke, and ended up, you know, suffering through it and liking it, getting to the buzz, and uh, some of my dads had beech nut around when we, was go, when we would go deer hunting, and... Uh, that very first time when a friend of mine in a, in a little league dugout reached in his pocket and pulled out a can of what I do believe was a uh, skull long cut straight and said try this I don't really remember if I've been stealing cigarettes from my mom before then or after that I don't really uh, as I say when I talk in recovery rooms if, uh, if I knew I was going to have to repeat this timeline I'd have kept better notes doesn't really matter exactly what happened, but I do remember those events and uh, those first, whether it's the first drunk, first dope, first nicotine, uh, those first tend to stick in your head, and uh, and I remember it. And then I kept on using it all my life. Uh, I smoked up until the time of 2003, um, and when my son was born, I decided I was going to stop. It was hard. I eventually did it. But I never quit the nicotine. See, I quit smoking. Uh, I continue to dip. I continue to use nicotine. And over the years, I would try times, you know, where I would get on the patches, or I would, uh, you know, try the gum, chew the gum for a while. Uh, I ended up uh, during a relapse at a treatment center. Uh, deciding to go out with those folks they, they got smoke breaks and I decided to go out with them at uh, break time once because hell I wanted to go outside too and, and I bummed a cigarette and I started smoking again in 2013 after not smoking for 10 years uh, that didn't last real long I smoked for some months on that uh, you know I come out of there and, and still didn't stay sober out in 2013 and, and kept on smoking and uh, I think it was at the end of that year, someplace close to the end of that year, that I decided to start that vaping thing. And I went through the progression of that, buying the little bitty cigarette looking vape, buying the bigger pen, buying the little bit bigger one, and up and up and up until I finally had like a $185 rig. And I'll say this, I, I took this from a recovery speaker. Uh, I had this big giant thing that looked like a uh, toaster with a nipple on it. And man, it would blow clouds. <laughs> And when you huffed on it, it was anything but uh, discreet. Uh, you see some people puffing on them little pins here and there and working indoors and stuff, and just a little little puff of uh, steam comes out of their mouth. Uh, this thing made noise both directions and uh, was not a discreet uh, nicotine device. But I liked it, and I kept on doing it. And, uh, you know, and I'd get there, and I'd put down my... Uh, there towards the end, I put down my vape pen. My, my, it was not a pen, my vape. Uh, and, and tell you I stopped vaping, but I would still be dipping. And then I would decide to quit dipping. And then I'd go back to the vaping and tell myself, well, the vaping ain't as bad for me as the dipping. Uh, and, I, 
and I bounced her back and forth and back and forth and, and it ended up on a Sunday night where I took a pinch of uh, pinch of out of the last can of my Grizzly Long Cut Straight and tossed it in the garbage. I can still remember it making, I'm really good at making uh, baskets in the garbage can. Oh, another one of my skills, kind of like napping. I'm real good at that too. And I'm really good at tossing stuff into a garbage can. I did that, I can remember it going slow motion, swish. Told myself I wasn't gonna dip. And I got up the next morning and uh, stopped at the store. Uh, not the one I normally go to, you know, whenever you're trying to quit, you don't go to the store that's nor the normal store, right? And and I was going to buy a can. I just couldn't do it. You know, I woke up in the morning and not dipped, uh, and, and I needed some fucking nicotine, man. Pardon my French. Uh, and I got up to the counter, and they had those, I saw those lozenges, man. They caught my eye. And so I, uh, I bought them instead. And I read them and a popcorn in my mouth as soon as I get in the car and whether if it's placebo or for real, made me feel better for a minute. I stopped, uh, I got to work, realized I did not buy near enough of those. Uh, I think I went back and got more. I went to a different store and got some more of them. Uh, so that was like on a Monday. On uh, about Wednesday, my throat is on fire like I ate hot soup, too hot soup. My mouth is like sloughing off and I'm, and I, and I'm, I'm, I'm think, damn. I got the cancer. I quit too late. Uh, I was scared. Fear always works as a motivator for me. And I uh, Googled up quit dipping sore mouth or something to that effect. Sore mouth from quit dipping. And up popped a website that helps you quit. Had a little thing that said, what to expect when you quit dipping. So, I decided to sign on there and I did and uh, they told me I couldn't use those lozenges or at least that's not the way they did it. They didn't tell me I couldn't but uh, they told me if I was going to be a part of their group that I couldn't do that. And uh, one day at a time starting on October the 18th of 2017 I stopped nicotine, cold turkey, none of it and it, and it messed with me big time. I mean it, it was ever bit as hard as any other drug or alcohol that I had put down before. Uh, is different it's not a you know i'm not going to sit here and rank it but certainly earned my respect on on that um you know my 12 step stuff helped me with that uh i did do a step six and seven where we asked uh we become willing to have god remove it from us and uh and in, in seven we ask boy well, ask our higher power to remove that uh move that obsession and uh and i'm certain that because i had a solid 12-step foundation a solid recovery uh, base underneath of me with a, a good support group that that helped me tremendously uh, Here I sit today at uh, 174 days uh, nicotine free. I guess a week from tomorrow makes six months and, and I don't even crave it. There's no way I'm going back uh, similar to the dope and alcohol uh, I heard a story talk about burn your boat, you know, you pull up on the shore of recovery and I, I have pulled up on the shore of chemical dependency recovery spiritual recovery i pulled up on the shore and it's way too good here man i burned my boats i'm not going back i'm not uh i'm having way too much fun being sober being nicotine free helping other people do the same uh, huge self huge self-esteem booster uh, i know that a lot of that chemical dependency stuff is is a lack of self-esteem it's a lack of self-worth you know, I'm, I'm okay with pouring poor poison in me, you know. Uh, that's crazy to me. That's insane now. Uh, shoot, I got this yoga practice. I'm going to go to school in the fall and go to yoga teacher, the first level of yoga teacher training school. Uh, I feel better than I have ever felt. At Recovery Yoga yesterday, they asked you uh, how old, uh, if you could be any age you wanted to be. If you could go back to any age, uh, what would you want to be? default answer is I would like to go back to some point and have one of the knowledge and the wisdom that I have today that 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 answer don't work uh, if I had to go back man it had to be back to a young childhood when I was still free otherwise I like it right here I'm having a blast recovering with you every day doggone hunt day 174 living nicotine free go out there look up Google it, living nicotine free. Uh, join us, come post roll with us, figure out, get off that poison. 
day 1195 off of the dope alcohol <sighs> what a life I get to do amazing things today doggone honey out